In this video, I put together a glitch that makes it look like you're cheating. Seriously, if you saw someone doing this, what would you think? So yeah, in my opinion, this is the most efficient and simple teleport glitch in build about for treasure. Like, look how fast I can go to this other team. And if you attach a harpoon to yourself, you can bring people straight to the end. Or, you know, you can drop them off the edge. I'll do some more trolling at the end of the video, but right now, I'm going to show you how to do this. Alright, to start it off, make sure your block settings are set to this. Head over to the front of the plot and place a seat. Now get a plastic block and place it on the back half of the seat. Scale the block up 10 studs high. You don't have to use scale tool for this, but it makes it easier. So yeah, 10 studs. Place a servo on the top of the pole like this. Now place two plastic blocks on the servo. And another two like this. Place another plastic block here, and scale it to about here, it doesn't really matter. Just make sure there's a little bit of room to build at the end. And that's because you're going to want to place a golden harpoon at the end. And then after that, place a staff on the ground near next to it. Okay, go back to the pole and add another 10 studs to it. place a plastic block halfway on it. This next part's a little tricky because if you mess up, your movement is going to be all over the place. So take a heavy block such as titanium and place it on top of the plastic block. Now turn it into a small platform, but make sure that it's centered on the plastic block. You can check this with the orange dot on the scale tool, but if you don't have the scale tool, then you can just count from the sides. See how the orange dot is a little bit off from the plastic block? That means it's off center, so I'm going to move it back and make sure it's centered from both directions. Now once you've done that, scale the platform upwards. The bigger this block is, the more stable you're going to be, but I'm just going to make mine this big. Back on this side, place another plastic block on the edge here, and scale it as high as you can. If you're running out of blocks, you can make the block thinner. Now we need to get up there, so I'm going to fly up like this, but you, you can get up there any other way. And when you get up here, place a portal like that. And then fall back down, and place another portal here. Now go through the portal, and place blocks so that you can stand. Make a small platform that's not connected to the pole, and a little bit under the harpoon. And then place a portal on the back, and a chair facing the harpoon. Then delete these blocks. Okay, we're on to our last step. Go to the portal, and with your binding tool, click the harpoon, and unbind it to the switch. So you want to make sure that the switch is only connected to the servo. And the last thing you need to do is use the property tool and set the servo setting to this. Okay, save your build, and let me show you how to use it. Alright, let's walk over here, grab this wand, click the harpoon, hold out your wand, and shoot the bottom of it. Unequip your wand, and leave the harpoon hanging, because that's how this whole thing works. Let's go into the portal, and sit in the chair, click the harpoon, and click the top of the wand. Okay, now let go, and reset the harpoon. Okay, let's get up, and follow me back through the portal. So the next part of the setup is easier with the cake block, but I'm gonna show you how to do it without the cake block, then I'll show you how to do it with the cake block. So if you do have the cake block, then skip to this time. All right, so if you don't have the cake block, then use a scale tool and scale this up a little bit. And then you're gonna need an old firework, which you can get from redeeming the code CHILDRO709 was here. 
And once you have the firework block, place it on the back of the seat so that you can see the stick part of it. Okay, then unbind the firework from the switch, and then scale the plastic block to its original place. So if you did the firework method, then skip to this time. Now here's how to do it with the cake. So all you have to do with the cake is just sit down and place it on the seat. Alright, now the final step for doing this is to unanchor everything, flip the switch so that you see this big thing come over, place a block here, and make everything invisible, have no collision, and unanchored. Now just delete your seat and you're basically done. If you thought that setup was too long, then let me show you how to do it under a minute. So I harpoon the bottom of the wand, and then I go into the portal, harpoon the top of the wand, unanchor everything, I walk over here, I flick the switch, place the block, get my cake, set my block properties, and boom, all set up. So to teleport with this thing, all you need to do is hold your wand, face the direction you want to teleport to, for example if I want to teleport to the flag over there, and then just let go of the wand. So yep, now I can just basically teleport anywhere. Uh oh. As you can see, you can also teleport into walls, but you can just simply go back out. The easiest way to troll players with this is by attaching a harpoon to your back, and then just harpoon a player. So now I can just drag them anywhere I want. If you have a winged jetpack, then you can wear it, and then you can fly while teleporting. But if you don't have the winged jetpack, then you can just use a red jet. It's kinda cool, it looks like you have a trail from like one of those speed simulator games. Okay, here I am asking this guy if he wants to go to the end. Whoops, I missed the end. I'll drop you right here. And now we're heading back. This glitch is honestly so fun to play around with. Let's take this guy around the world. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to subscribe and check out my other videos because I show you how to make cool glitches and mechanics like this. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.